Kubernetes for a while. This is an update on my DIY radio control system. Here we have the transmitter, uh, transmitter module, little microcontroller, um, RF module plugged on there. Uh, connected to that, a PS2 controller. And data back here after all the display on the laptop. I really need to replace the laptop with a, some sort of better display. Uh, we've got various information coming back here. The right hand four columns are um, RF signal quality um, in both directions. Uh, first number is signal quality back from the aircraft. Uh, second column is number of packets uh, received back from the aircraft in one second at a maximum of 50. Third column is, is signal quality to the aircraft and fourth quality number of packets received on the aircraft. Zoom in there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. You need to know where for it. Uh, also over here uh, we have battery voltage on the aircraft. Currently 7.5 volts and current draw on the aircraft. I haven't actually got the correct multiplier on there to work out exactly what that is in amps. So uh, at the moment, uh, let me just throttle the motor up a bit there. You see this figure rising upwards as the current draw on the aircraft increases. Okay, by the aircraft itself. PS2 controller. Ooh, this is tricky getting a green shot. There we go. Using the PS2 controller, we can go left, right, up, down, and also put the motor up a bit. That's all quite normal. Uh, what else can we do? We can, at the moment, if we want to set trims, let me say, let me see. Let's go left a bit. If I hold down this triangle button, it just sort of sets the current position as the default, if you like. Um, so there you go, you can see it's all trimmed away over on the left now. Let me bring that back to somewhere near center. And again, triangle button. What else can we do? Okay, so I've actually started putting some sensors on the aircraft. Um, they're switched off at the moment, but um, actually the left hand column here shows the rate of change of angle of the aircraft. Um, what does this mean in real, in real ter terms? Actually on the microcontroller on the aeroplane um, I'm reading an angular rate sensor and if I switch it on uh, it'll uh, help the aircraft stay level. How do I switch it on? Well, with my trusty PS2 controller, at the moment, if I move the aircraft, you'll see nothing happens on the tail. If I start pressing this up button, you'll now see uh, it's not really enough yet. seeing that or not. Let's see. I've got to move the aircraft. It tries to autocorrect for itself. But finding only about 30 presses is about right for the moment. Let's switch that off again. So just pressing down all the way. I did at one point have it uh, output how many presses on the screen here I pressed, but uh, 
Yeah, I have that on as well. Okay, so the aircraft itself, uh, I made it myself, can you tell? Uh, I've sort of made it to be... Easy to work on. If I just pull out these little pieces of wood, I can just it's stuck. I was doing some running repairs. So you can see how I can. Uh, all apart. Now, in here is the angular rate sensor. That's the one that affects the tail moving. So I'm going to point the tail and just move the, the nose. So if I point the nose down, okay, pointing the nose down now, you saw the tail point up. If I point the nose up, tail points down. So that's, that sort of helps the airplane just fly straight and level. Uh, I don't actually have one for side to side movement yet. That's the, that's the next thing to do. Uh, what else do we have in here? So we'll put the battery up in the nose. Nice and far forward. Got one angular rate sensor. My little microcontroller board with the uh, RF receiver. Little antenna pointing up here, a uh, couple of servos, motor controller, motor. Yeah, that's about it. Um, next job is add another angular rate sensor for uh, the yaw movement and add proper uh, add a proper LCD display to the uh, transmitter side of things. So it doesn't carry a laptop everywhere. Oh, well, it works without a laptop, but I can't see what's going on. Okay. That's about it. Uh, yeah, more updates to follow.